for content information and the link to the written version of this entry, please check the description below. Welcome to the third entry in my Under the Queer Umbrella spin-off blog series and video series, where I discuss new terms I learned of this weekend, as well as new terms added or updated on the wiki this past weekend. In this entry, we shall be discussing a small variety of queer identities which I found on the LGBTA plus wiki, either through the randomizing button or through looking at the newly added section. Consider donating to my GoFundMe to help with my transition, or you can donate to my Cash App. My commissions are also open, and you'll find more information in the description below. Disclaimer. Although I've gone into this video with the best intentions to educate others and done plenty of my own research into these identities by talking to those who identify with these labels and doing online research, I do not have the majority of these identities and therefore cannot speak from personal experience. If I get any information wrong, if you're comfortable, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will amend the blog entry to this video as needed. My intention is to bring awareness to these identities and to educate on the beauty of queer identities. I encourage you to do your own research alongside this blog entry. You can find all the links to these identities in the description below. Terms I learned this weekend. This is a series of terms I found through randomising the LGBTA plus wiki page between Friday to Sunday this weekend. These terms will be placed in alphabetical order with the possible exception of terms that are directly related to the term I randomised. Theostelic. Theostelic is an orientation within the stellite orientation system, which refers to genders one is attracted to. Theostelic refers to those who are either exclusively or sometimes attracted to theospec identities, which is any gender related to being female or female aligned. This orientation can be experienced on its own or alongside other orientations. Monster gender. This is a xenogender that is closely related to monsters. This can be any kind of monster from zombie to giant spiders and can fluctuate between different monsters. Wala gender. This is a gender in the tea leaf system or TL system, which includes genders related to or affected by tea. While a gender is a xenogender which relates to white tea either by being connected to white tea or by being affected by white tea when drinking it. It can also relate to genders which fluctuate when drinking white tea. Demiwalia Demiwalia is a demigender which is partially connected to wily gender. Part of one's gender relates to white tea either by being connected to white tea or by being affected by white tea when drinking it. It can also relate to genders which fluctuate when drinking white tea. The other part of one's gender could be any other gender or combination of genders. Before we carry on with this video, consider checking out my Patreon, where you will find all my videos one a day before they come out publicly. That's only £1 a month for my Patreon, which you will find in the link in the description down below. Now back to the video. Terms added to or updated on this wiki this weekend. This is a list of terms I found by going to the recently added section of the LGBTA plus wiki. The following identities were either coined in the past weekend or had a major update on their page such as the addition of a flag or an updated description. They are placed in release order with the exception of the terms which are directly related to the terms I found. This is not every identity that was added this weekend, I focused on those which were coined the past weekend and also had flags. The following is an exclusive identity. Fizzy di fizzy gender. This multigender this mutogender refers to a gender which changes whilst experience a physical symptom of some form. This could be physical ticks, attacks, or flare ups. It can also relate to the act of stimming. Since this gender relates so closely to disability, it is technically an exclusive gender for those who experience physical challenges. The following is also an exclusive identity. Ontogashon. This is a neurogender which is used by those who have difficulty relating 
to masculine or masculine aligned identities due to trauma and therefore is an exclusive gender only for those who have experienced trauma. The term antecation was created from the French terms ont meaning hurt and garçon meaning boy. Coin collector. This term refers to those who who coin a lot of identity terms, especially for themselves or the community at large. These terms can be for any aspect of the queer community, including orientations and gender identities. This term is also known as coin hoarder. So that was it for the new terms I learned this weekend. I will be doing weekend entries instead of weeks henceforth because I just don't have the energy to balance several things in one week. I enjoy these entries and I can't wait to see what identities I'll discover next week. Don't forget that we will also be discussing the aromantic spectrum, better known as Aerospec soon. I know I mentioned it would be last month, but I've had to change some things around again. Please do your own research alongside these entries. And until next time, happy disabled month. Oh. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and I will see you all in the next video. I'm aiming to get 50 subscribers by the end of this month and I hope you can help me reach that goal. Bye.